What's up guys? Adam Thomas here, aka Lil Diesel. Getting a nice leg workout in with Lord Legend. And uh you guys check it out. It's a warm-up. doing barbell back squats as our first working exercise i'm doing about four sets of 10 increasing weight every time the lord's doing about four sets of 15 to 20 increasing weight very moderately So we didn't record all of our four working sets. However, um, just keep in mind, this is my third working set right here. And um, just another keynote, when it comes to doing heavyweight or overload training, you know, it's all about the pace. Don't try to race nobody, take your time, breathe, and work on your range of motion. So Laura's here, increased her weight about 10 pounds. She's increasing 10 pounds every set. The um, reason why it's only 10 pounds is because she's doing about 15 to 20 reps each set. She's not making that huge jump like how I would um, because I'm doing about 10 reps per set. So here we go. Last set, full set. Going for about like 10 reps. Focusing on more range of motion than anything, but also pace too. One thing about pace, you want to utilize your breathing pattern to keep a nice tempo. Also, kind of keeps you focused on your reps. Usually, my max is about 465 in squats, but I uh, wanted to go ahead and do a nice four sets of 10. Three more. Benefits on utilizing high reps and moderate weight can be a great prerequisite. I'm beating those plateaus, doing 10 to 15 reps. Last one. You definitely see an increase in strength with all this volume, and also can help you to beat those max out days. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, it's a leg day without working some buns. Boys producing some donkey kicks, high reps. While Laura Legend is performing those donkey kicks, I'm knocking out some leg extensions and finish off each set with partial leg extensions at the end of my reps. And we got Laura Legend here activating those abductors with a resistant band. The reason why she's lying down is to take away momentum and also to keep all the tension in her abductors. And here's another great exercise to activate those glutes. I call it a good morning hack squat. It's almost like an RDL but without putting the dumbbells or weight in your hands so you don't activate those lats and traps. 
It's also a good way to get deep in those hamstrings and glutes on that range of motion. And this machine also could take stress off your lower back also. I'm performing a reverse hack squat, doing about like three sets, um, 15 reps to 20 reps, and I'm um, just about narrow stance, trying to activate my quads and my glutes a lot in this exercise. And Laura Legends working the mad ductus to the death of her. <laughs> Let's get it. The reason why I told her to not to fully lock out in this exercise so that she keeps constant tension in her hamstrings and glutes. Quick tip. Third set, last set, 15 plus reps. One of my biggest focuses for my body is uh, personally, it's my calves, and um, I'm starting to try to become a specialist for that. Call me calf man. Usually finish up our leg days with plyometrics and abdominal exercises at the end. Um, plyometrics can definitely help with muscular conditioning and cardiovascular conditioning and also build muscle too. It's one of my favorite exercises in plyos, lunge run squat. You can do this exercise without weight or with weight. We decided to add a kettlebell to this exercise to produce more of a challenge. If it's your first time doing this exercise, don't use no weight, just get the rhythm down and time yourself for about 20 to 30 seconds within three to four sets. We finished our session off with an elbow to knee crunch on a physio ball. You can't perform it on the physio ball, grab a mat and perform it on the ground. Thank you guys for listening to my commentary on our leg day video. Bless up.